right, everyone, I'm on here to show you a quick um, video about the Macy's Rite Aid um, getting away from the loyalty program. It's not that they're getting rid of the loyalty program. If you read further in the article, they're trying to put all these things together, like Macy's and Rite Aid be able to use the same points. So if you go to Rite Aid, you'd be able to use those points at Macy's. Um, also, um, you get them using them at Exxon. And um, they said there's a few other stores, but they didn't um, they didn't list them. And they also talked about how um, the average person has 29 loyalty cards, but only eight of them are used. And they were saying that that's just money wasted. So now what they're trying to do is um, group all of these uh, about, I think it's about six. I mean, it might be more coming along, but if you go to, um, to the fortune magazine, um, well, right here, you can see it. I pulled it up on the website, fortune, fortune, fortune. I don't know why I keep saying fortune, fortune, um, um, dot com. I think that's how you pronounce that. F O R T U N E. Yeah. F O R T U N E dot com. And it will pull up. If you type in right right aid in the description box, this um this article right here will pull up. You can read more about it um yourself. It says Macy's Rite Aid, Exxon Mobil, and several other brands are launched the first ever US based coalition loyalty program with American Express in a move that promises to shake up rewards programs. Um it says American shoppers have been able to earn loyalty points from one retailer and then redeem them at another. That's about to change. It says after the program gets underway in May, a Macy's customer will be able to use, it's called Plenta. The um, rewards program is going to be called Plenta. Plenta points won from saying buying a pair of shoes at one of its stores to use it to fill up a mobile gas station or to pay an AT&T phone bill. So as you can see, it's not just Rite Aid, but it's other um, stores too. In the past, Macy's shoppers could only use their points at Macy's. Well, yeah, that's what I always thought so too. Okay. Okay, it says the coalition, which plans to double or even triple the number of members in the coming years is not naming names, but is looking at adding a national restaurant chain, a grocery, and a do-it-yourself retailer. The the two lo the two biggest such companies are Home Depot and Lowe's, right? So you know, um, John um, Lirish, Rite Aid senior vice president of marketing, said a national grocer would be the most powerful addition to the coalition because it would add more frequent shoppers. Most people shop at grocery stores than they do at Lowe's, Rite Aid, and definitely Macy's, right? Okay, so um, it's, let me read something about Rite Aid because that's the store that I go to, Rite Aid. Rite Aid, which generates 80% of its annual sales through its wellness program, sees it as a way to win some business from the customer's of the coalition partners who may go to larger rival drugstores like Walgreens or CVS, which operate massive loyalty programs too. Okay. So, so go, like I said, I just read a little bit just in case you don't want to read. Um, but it's, it talks about, I mean, it has a lot of other things that you can read about. So, um, please go to the, um, to this website so you can find out some more information for yourself if you're like me a couponer you know a lot of people said that they were totally getting getting away from the program but it's not that they're getting away from the program they're grouping more business businesses together so you can use your loyalty card at different stores and again i said it's called plenty so all right this is just the information video. All right. Thanks for looking. Happy shopping.